first a few operational things. As they said, please, once we know where the rocket is, do not get in your cars and go driving towards it. Please, please do not do that. I will get mad. Other folks will not get mad. They'll just be annoyed. I will be mad, so don't do that. Um, but that's really the only big operational thing. I'll be reading off a countdown from the um, ignition table. You should all be able to hear it. Uh, we're targeting a launch time uh, or an ignition time of 8.30 a.m. I'm going to make the 30-minute call to the FAA soon, and uh, so we're pretty much go for launch. And I'm really happy we made it here, and I'm so proud of all of you for doing all this work, and I'm really excited to see this thing take off. Okay, so today here at Spaceport America, we're hosting the launch of a rocket from the University of Southern California. Okay, so we're trying to launch a rocket as high as 180,000 feet. We got here together, we had a safety briefing, and then we got to work, cooked a bunch of food on the grill, awesome, and then I guess we went to bed pretty early. So what's going on today is we're flying Fathom 2, which is our, uh, if it su succeeds, will be our highest performing rocket to date. Uh, last year we came out here with a rocket that was called Fathom. Uh, its intention was to act as an aerodynamics test for a future space shot, so a future flight to space. So it's a subscale version of that future flight. It unfortunately uh, exploded a few seconds into flight due to an issue with our thermal protection system on the inside of the motor. So we're shooting high this time. And uh, if it works, it'll be a perfect demonstration of our aerodynamics for a future space shot. Hey, so we're here in Mission Control. We are about 20 minutes out from launch. So far, everything looks good. And the clouds are actually clearing up right now, so. Should be nice blue skies when we launch. whether it's on the ground or not yet. The yeah. packets only come in every 10 minutes. Um, you know, my my three years at USC so far, this is the first uh, high-performance vehicle that's really worked. And um, as far as the vehicle dynamics went, it worked perfectly. It pretty much hit uh, close to our expected apogee and a little bit of trouble with the parachutes coming down, but um, it's a fixable problem. I think that everybody on the team felt a real sense of accomplishment. Past alumni are here whose works have helped develop the rocket even further. And, um, really just good feelings today all around. And um, the, next, the next launch, the next big launch will probably go to space. And the whole purpose of the rocket was to um, test uh, high aerodynamic loading um, and high Mach number, make the rocket go really fast and flow in the atmosphere to sort of see if we can handle the conditions a, a space shot rocket is going to see. So from the looks of it, it went pretty fast because <laughs> it burned all the paint off. Uh, this is just the primer that's left over. Um, it scorched the fence pretty bad. Um, the aero loading probably tore off some of the carbon fiber down here. Um, so I guess it worked. It was kind of awesome.